Hi friends, Amy here from The Stamp Market to share with you our fun new holiday collection. And we're going to start with our new pattern paper pack. There's 32 sheets of pattern cardstock, six by eight. You get two of each pattern. And the colors in this are Aspen, Meadow. We have Cherry Kisses. Then we have Nice Begonia, Cheeky, Golden. We have Fresh Mint and Minty giving you a really fun and playful palette that not only you'll be able to use for the Christmas holidays, but also for the rest of the year. Ginghams are just a great staple to have in your stash. And I hope you enjoy creating with these. We've done Up all. next, let's talk about our new Festive Garlands collection. This collection was so fun to put together. There's so many coordinating elements you can mix and match. These stamps are sized. They're a little large so that you can really do some fun packaging, cards, larger cards, but they also work for tags. I especially love this stamp set. It's really a great border set as well. And as you can see on this card, it has four different garlands a holly and berry, just a nice garland leaf, just a really nice green, then a little bit more of a pine, and then another little bit of a pine bow with ornaments. You can stamp once and then the die coordinates to go over the top of that. So you don't have to die cut those individually. It's in one die. So you'll just stamp and die cut. But there's a coordinating die for each of those, making it really nice so that you can layer these up and utilize them in a lot of different ways. So this is a six by eight stamp set with the coordinating die. Then we've also created the same imagery. So the garland, it's just the greenery garland and it comes with two sizes. And the reason we did that is we wanted to give you options for gift giving and gift packaging. This will make the most gorgeous um, wraps around packages, hanging off bigger packages, actually those larger gifts that you're giving for the holidays. These will work really well. Also, I will be sharing some fun around the house ideas with these products this year. That's why it's called Deck the Halls. I feel like there's so many fun ways you can incorporate this into your lifestyle for the holidays. So I'll be sharing a few fun ideas with this as a garland on a shelf or just accenting some different things around the house so you can get more out of those dies. Now here is the smaller size on a card front and this is the larger let me, I thought I had that right here. Oh, I do. Okay. And then here is that larger. Look how long that is. It's about seven inches long. And this would look how cute. Fold that around and put a napkin in there with a little bow. Add a little bow and you have the most festive napkin rings. Or add that to the top of a cello bag. There's a lot of options with this and I'm super excited to see what you guys create. And I really now the great thing about this is it also comes with two gorgeous bows, small and large as well. These are so perfect for a little gifting and you can even make a card. I used our postage cover die, which has like four little postage stamps and our first class stamp and then created this just using a few stamped images from the stamp set and then incorporating that with the die. And look how fun that is such a really festive card. This would even make a really cute birthday card as well if you changed up the colors, got rid of the garland. You could really do some fun things with this. And then I also just made a little accent for the envelope. So there's a little coordination there. Now, obviously you wouldn't mail it this way, but giving it as a gift or using this in on a card front or again, just on a package. Now, I almost forgot to mention the great thing about this is that we have a coordinating um, greeting set that is already has a little bit of a curve to it and you can really mix and match these up. It has deck the halls with boughs of holly and then you can do the um, fa la la or you can do season's greetings, happiest holidays, have yourself a merry little Christmas. There's a lot of different ways you can use this. And last but not least is this gorgeous garland stencil. It's just a simple two-piece stencil. It's oversized. It's already designed. So taking the fuss out of it for you, you just lay that on your card stencil. I did meadow and aspen. And then I accented this with our new alphabet lower dot. It's called Letter Lovely Lower, and they're pretty good sized um, alphabets, but they're small enough that you can really do a lot of custom words. These are gonna be great for tags and monograms for the holidays. We also have an uppercase and numbers coming in November, so watch for that if you like this style. So again, add to your fun packaging. We've used the gingham and just created a box, and there's so many ways to use this collection, and I hope you guys have fun creating with that. Up next, we have our fun new Santa sack die. This is a standard size die. It goes right through your die cut machine. It does fit really tight edge to edge, but it does fit. 
So with that, you get this, you cut two pieces. I'll have a quick tutorial for you guys. And you cut two pieces, simply glue them together and you can add this little tag. Or we have a fun greeting set that's full of a variety of styles and fonts and hand lettered sentiments to really mix and match and create a variety of gift bags. These also are really great for card making as well. So this is gonna be a versatile set for a lot of your card making this year. Look at that fun Merry Christmas. This is about two inches deep and four inches. It's really the perfect size for a gift card. Um, small little treats. You guys know, Only we can only make our gift bags so big, right? And these cute gift tags that comes with a coordinating die. Don't forget. And the reason I do that is I really do love to layer up elements of the stamp set. Now, the to and from part of the stamp does not have a coordinating die. It only die cuts out the do not open until Christmas and on the naughty and nice as well. So that way you have a little bit of variety or you can just stamp them directly on a tag when you're in a hurry, because I do that all the time. And then this fun, just keep it simple, white on white with some red ribbon from our ribbon collection, our new cedar branch die, and just the little from Santa. We also have our beautiful wreath, perfect for cards and little gift bags. And then again, we've used the gingham papers, the little shaker tag from our shop, the bow and the garland from the festive garland collection. And then this fuzzy twine, I get asked every year where I get this, just at your local yarn shop. They'll have like a shimmery um, yarn. Pick that up and use that for your gift wrapping. I wouldn't hold off on purchasing this. It's moving really fast this morning. So if it's out of stock, uh, we will be getting it back. Don't worry. We will be placing a reorder right away. So stay tuned for more ideas with that. Okay, up next, we have our Sending Joy die, which is a card size postage die with an exaggerated scallop, which makes it a little bit more playful and fun. It comes with a little inside piece that allows you to make shakers. And the reason we wanted to do this is that that'd be fun to do little confetti grams. So also are some fun words, cheer, holiday, for sending forever. Then you have some hearts. You could also use this during Valentine's as well with the sending forever and add some hearts. But then we have a little snowman scarf, eyes, nose, and little arms for that fun little just add snow. We've just lightly stenciled that background and added in the eyeballs. Just add snow, such a cute and fun way to send seasonal cards through the snow time as well, instead of just Christmas. And then a little let it snow, sending snow much love. Look at that fun little confetti gram. And then this joy is just a really fun. This all comes in this die. We've layered that up. But also what we've done is included a coordinating stencil with the holly and berries, which you can use mix and match, like move around and kind of give the background look that you want or use it as a border to create a garland. Then we've also got a jumbo size. So this is a three piece stencil. This jumbo size will make really fun oversized backgrounds. We'll have a cute little how-to on this. The greetings that come with this are really fun. They're definitely for the holidays, but you could also use this official confetti gram any time of year and pair it with some other stamp sets. It has the coordinating die so you can layer and really utilize these even with your other stamp sets. So you can get a lot out of these type of sets. I hope you enjoy creating with this little collection. If you picked up our newspaper die from our Halloween release, you'll be happy to know we have a fun Holiday Times North Pole Post stamp set to coordinate as well. Look at that cute, colorful newspaper, simply embossed in white using the little accents. We have a coordinating die for all those pieces so you can really get some nice layering. And this time we've included some greenery in that stamp set so you can really give that a festive feel. And there's some really fun little sentiments. Chair is up 54%, volume 1225. Just some fun little holiday themed sentiments. And we really hope you enjoy creating this with this. These are perfect for the front of cards. We're gonna add some cute stripe backgrounds and post these on the website in our lookbook. Up next is our Merry Fa La La die. And look how fun this is to really use some different colors, create a colorful, background or just simply do it in some cute glitter or even create a little shaker element with this. So this is on our new basic tags die. This is a four by six um, big die. You can cut that down to fit it in an envelope if you want, but it, this is actually a great die for memory keeping and larger gifts and things for the holidays. So we love how it coordinates with that, but remember this fits perfectly on the front of a card as well. 
And then we've accented that with our new cedar branch dies and just some ribbon. Okay, you guys, I'm super excited to share with you the fun items that we have. These are all standalone dies that we offer this holiday for decorating your packages, making ornaments, really making your space, your home, and your gifts really feel festive and fun. So starting with our rosette stars, we have three different designs. What it is, is it's a four piece die. So you only need, I will do a tutorial, but you will, it will die cut a large and a small, and you have to die cut a bunch of these and then glue them together. It's very simple. It just requires a little bit of die cutting, folding and gluing. But what you end up with is this. So this is the large one. And then this is the small. So as you can see, they're fairly good size. This can be used on small gifts and make really cute ornaments. I'm actually doing my tree, my entire tree with these ornaments this year. I'm hoping to share that on the Instagram soon. And this is the diamond star, very fun and modern, but still so beautiful. And then this is the sparkle. Just has those little sparkly elements, so fun. Add some string through that and you have some ornaments. Tie this on your little gift bags, treat bags as a gift topper. We'll be sharing a fun post with a lot of different wrapping ideas. We have two months before Christmas is here and don't worry, we will get to all this product. And then we love our new cedar branch die. This is pretty big. We want to make a big wreath with this. We love using it to just accent small gifts. We've shown you throughout the release different ways you can use it. This will make a gorgeous wreath. So we'll be sharing a fun how-to on that during the holidays as well. And then this is our beautiful wreath, which I've shown you already on the gift packaging, but it's so beautiful just on cards. Add a sentiment in the center and look at that fun and colorful. And this is just layering up three of those wreaths. It's a very simplistic wreath. You can do so much with it. You can even make little ornaments or gift bag tabs, little fun things. Then we have a large, very large triple bow. So this is a long die. It does fit through your standard die cut machine, but you will need an extender plate. And from that, you get all the pieces to create this beautiful triple bow. And they're just so fun, perfect for larger packages. You can do the little ribbons in different ways. You can actually extend them off the end like this or leave them off. You can also make just a double bow if you want. So there's just different ways. You can even just do that cute single bow. So a lot of use out of that. And then we're also offering the same exact style in a mini bow. So this little guy is really tiny, perfect for little gift bags. That's what we've used on our Santa sack. Perfectly sized for the top of that, making it just extra cute and fun. Again, you can leave the little ribbons off or put them down really giving you some fun options. Don't forget you can hand stamp tags and attach to these. A lot of different ways to utilize the product together to create beautiful gift packaging for the rest of the holiday season. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to head on over to the shop, thestampmarket.com and shop today. Have a great day guys. Thanks for joining me.